Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ernest and uh, today we shall be looking at a simple student grading system uh, which I've been actually working on a few days. Well, uh, we shall be looking at how it works, how I made it and a few simple things to be noting about it so uh, if you're watching this i want to welcome you to my youtube channel if you're a new viewer i can request you to subscribe to my youtube channel so as to support more of my work yeah so today we shall be looking at uh, a simple student <laughs> grading system i don't know what name i you want to give it but uh, the main purpose is to to grade, like to know. But uh, you can uh, grade a student and also print a report. So we shall be looking at how it works. Uh, first of all, um, just running on localhost. It's not hosted anywhere. You can see that uh, localhost, and this is the URL to the uh, to the system. So to make sure you're running on localhost, I will use ZAMP server. It's my ZAMP server, and I'll make sure my Apache is running plus my SQL. These two are running uh, because Apache is the virtual server we are using, and I used uh, PHP, my admin, or my SQL database for this. So uh, you can see that it has a login form whereby uh, someone can log in. Uh, it can be a teacher, director of studies, or anyone, or a student. You understand as long as you have the login credentials. So you can get the username and password. You just need the username and password. So for this case, I will use class teacher. And I use the password. The password is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. You can see that I put a uh, a button to toggle visibility of the password. So you can see that that's the password. So I go ahead and log in. Yep. So when I log in, it will authenticate and uh, check the user from the database to see which user. If the user is a class teacher will be redirected to a page called terms.php so we can see that this is the school name yeah so it says you are welcome class teacher it says you're welcome class teacher class teacher is the current user of the system who is logged in if it's not the class teacher it will just authenticate to an, any other page so kindly select the time to continue. I assume the year is uh, academic year 2028. 20, yeah. So it will say you can choose a term. I made three terms, first term, second term, and third term. Maybe first term has a total of 150 students. So these students are all in the school database. Just as a sample, I made them. So you can see male, female, you know, something of the sort uh, you can see that it has second term third term so actually i'll just choose let me just use first term so when i go to first term i will need to log in again so i log in so when i log in it will just take me to my next page so this is my dashboard of the school can see that the school name blah 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 academics department this is my side panel this I put grading reports here can be more other things but for today we're just looking at grading and reports yeah so welcome class teacher this is the current session so you can even log out and see total students admitted 150 classes here there's no space for admitting students we skip that part but you can log in as any other person and you keep admitting but for this 
academics department just have to see and grade the students so this is what the dashboard looks like it's perfectly responsive you can collapse this and do it again back and forth you know <laughs> yeah so i can even inspect this i see what it looks like maybe for iphone se this is what it looks like iphone xr 12 pro let's see 12 pro like this so it's perfectly responsive system yeah so it can run on any device all right i'll just choose responsive because i won't see if it uh if it's responsive according to the device with like i think you're seeing you're seeing this right yeah so perfect responsive so the main issue here is grading so i'll just go to grading and reports yep it will get me a page like this well designed you know something like this if you are a student who is making research or is looking forward to coding something you can this can be an inspiration or you can come up with something like this or you, if you're a teacher and you're watching this or maybe uh, a professional you know educate ed like educational person you can watch this and you can purchase it from me if everything is good for you you like it so this is what it looks like it says student grading academics and assessment so this is where you can grade student marks and performance select a student and choose a button to which you want to grade bot bot is beginning of term those are the three the three papers are made midterm end of term so after click on a student name and see details for performance and grading yeah so this is what it looks like so uh here i have put a an, in, a t an input field whereby it selects all the student names that are in the database for now these are the only students there so i'll choose any student don't don't worry about the names you know <laughs> um, <coughs> who can i say cry let me take a smile so if i choose a smile you say this, this the thing said fill the form below to grade a student select a class i'll give him primary five so here i have four subjects science social studies mathematics and english there can be any other thing it can be more than four it can be just something bigger than this you know this is just the uh, the basic idea you know what i'm saying so by default you show the aggregate is 36 here yeah, there are failures you know the division if you want to grade for beginning of time you choose this for mid time you choose this for end of time you choose this this here will appear recently graded students for mid term you can search here anyone you see there's no result yeah the same applies here but this is for end of term this is for beginning of term you can refresh this section just in case you need it well uh, let's just go on Do make sure you subscribe and you know don't forget to share and like I really appreciate that I <laughs> you know well so for subjects we have four subjects science SST math and English right so we want to make sure when a mark is entered the actual grading comes right here you get like how how will you know that this is a d1 this this when someone enters a mark we want to make sure he's graded automatically and uh here comes a final aggregate plus the division so for this let's follow this grading scale i said this grading scale just for purposes of this video so 185 it will be a d1 this to this d2 74 to 70 c3 69 64 this can be anything this grading scale can be any other thing you would like to set so here we go 59 6 to 54 53 to 46 that's a pass this is called a distinction one distinction two credit three credit four credit five <laughs> blah 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 credit six now these are primary passes so you say pass it pass seven if a student gets maybe 47 
we'll, we'll just fall right here you know something like that so but if a student gets below 39 we, we shall regard it as a failure right now so this is the grading scale we're following so you want to select a student i'll select uh, let me select this lady right here Leticia I'll give her primary seven these classes can be anything um, maybe let me say science what mark did Leticia get in science assuming Leticia got a 60 I'll write 60 so to just grade right here that it's 60 it's a credit 5 because we grouped 60 as a credit 5 so you 60 lands or falls right here so uh, uh sst she got a 90 well that's some cool <laughs> cool fact so this is a distinction one mathematics mm, you know mathematics uh mathematics what mark can i give let me give a hundred she's a girl she's a lady she deserves it even though if you have mathematics i'll give you a hundred that's a distinction one you can see that here it's already grading like with a C5, this is 5, 6, 7, plus this 9, making 16. Make her go into this. So you can see that that's the grading system. This is the code I wrote, uh, JavaScript code. Uh, for your information, I, I made this with, uh, of course, HTML for the structures, plus some little CSS, but I use some bootstrap. Yeah, bootstrap. I use some bootstrap, I use the uh, of course JavaScript and Ajax. Ajax is a library of JavaScript, so I wasn't necessary for mentioning it, but just in case. So this is the script for the grading. I told you for the for database I use the PHP my admin and I use PHP. So this is the function for for the grading, you know. These are the four subjects. I'll get variables where I collect them from the inputs from these inputs. This I'm talking about this. I collect these and I capture them and I grade it. This is for science. The if statement that captures this mark falls right here. I just chose to use if statements, but there are other ways of uh, making them condition. This is SST. SST is social studies. I abbreviated. These are just subject names. You can change them. So English, blah blah blah. You know. So this is the script for grading. Uh, the total aggregates. This is the logic behind the scripts. So actually, the script is kind of big because you know all these are files for that system. So. If you need the source code to this, I'll leave the link in description. Or I'll if you don't know how to host this, how to install this, I'll leave a number or an email in my description so that you can reach out to me. We talk. So for English, I'll put a 50. So she gets 14. She's in division 2, despite the fact that she has 60. So okay, here. I'll just give her... 80 now she's in division one you get so this is the logic yeah so here you can't write any letter so i'm trying to write letters but they won't go through like this is a full <laughs> robust system yeah so very okay so you know all exceptions and errors so here you can't type any digit so uh, you can't write uh, e you know something like that so 50 i'll give her 80 so she has six aggregates then she's in division one so i'll choose here what do you want to grade her for i'll grade her in bot when i grade her in bot it will grade her the student and it give me some simple message student graded and you can see right here that i have one student that was graded for beginning of term bot okay let me just grade her again for another term for series leticia I'll, she's in primary seven i'll give her 50 12 mm, bad mark 30 40 so she has 33 upgrades which 
la uh, falls to division four. You can see the divisions also here. Uh, if the total aggregate is less than or equal to twelve, she will be in division one. Less than twenty four, division two, something very like that, you know. Or else they'll be ungraded because that's a worse performer. <laughs> So going back here, I'm going to have a mid term. Mm. Yeah. yeah, student graded for mid term. You can see her here. Let me grade her for end of term as well. Bambiria, Leticia, primary seven. Yep, science. I'll give her. 99 uh 71 mathematics 40 that 56 okay this is 88 still division one great performance <laughs> remember those times when we <laughs> we, we had to have a great performance for the sake of our parents you know so this is what we have right now student so you can grade as many students as you can depending on the number of students you have admitted into your system or class or uh, let me just grade one more primary five uh, this is a male person so i give her 56 79 mm, 77 10. so this is so this person is performing great here but here it has f9 I make 100, we get division 1. Let me just grade him for mid, mid term. <sighs> yep. Grading for mid term. Student graded. You can see mid term, I have them right here. So, here we're saying after grading, click on the student name and see details for performance and grading. Mm. I'll click on Babiri Leticia because we graded her everywhere. So, on clicking on a student name, it brings a new page about the details of the performance of that student. See, students, student academics, then the name of the student. If I chose another name, I'll just go back right here. Oh, from submission. Just. Mm, let me duplicate this tab. So if I go back here and I select uh, Sekasi Shadik, here I get Babiria Leticia. Sekasi isn't graded in BOT first, so it gives students should be graded in BOT first to be seen here. You see all this, even throwing a, uh, an exception. So you know, there's no way you can grade a student without the beginning of term, the first term examination. You know those first tests when an academic year is starting. So this one is graded everywhere. So we can see here, science, SST, math, English. I will get six, just simple details. Uh, if I want to edit, I only edit for this. Can make this 89, still, is it? Let me just make it 8-1. See the D2. So you save it. Says details edited. Yeah, so this is 8-1. It was 80 initially. Let me edit this. Mm, I'll make it 51. See, past 7. See, if I make it, you know, it changes. F9. You know, it still changes here. Shows it is automatically graded. <laughs> Power of JavaScript. Yeah, so that's what happens. Uh, the same everywhere. Now for the part of printing report. This is the most interesting part because a parent would like to see that that real evidence about the student. So here you can get to print. But here you're printing for first time. You can see this. 
discipline marks today already this is the design and i made this with fpdf library so bot you can see you can get it printed hmm, I'm, I'm now i'm saving this as a document so this is the result you can see uh student name is equal to baby Leticia. all those are their class academic sheet for time one 2028 <laughs> no something basic same applies here print for student reports ah. so these are just designs but it's nothing much the school name always reserved the location comment from class teacher you know well quite interesting this thing is quite interesting so that's what we have there if i refresh here i go again <laughs> so guys that's what you have about this simple student grading system and assessment has pretty part yep <laughs> we're good to go so if you need this to purchase this please inbox me or if you want a free source code i repeat it i give a free source code to anyone who is really interested in it and you can inbox me and ask me more about it yep so don't forget to subscribe uh, to my youtube channel nest wave <laughs> nest wave technologies i will be so glad to support me in that way Alright, that's it.